News. This is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your very foggy Tuesday morning. And as you can see behind me in our Mansfield Sky Camp, fog is just blanketing Mansfield this morning. The sun starting to rise and looking bright as ever as we are expecting hazy sunshine going into the rest of your Tuesday. We just have to start off with that patchy dense fog that should taper off by the mid to late morning hours. But if you are traveling to work and a few even school this morning, you might be seeing at zero miles of visibility. That's what we're seeing in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, about a fourth of a mile right now in Elmira and even some of that expanding over Tyoke County of New York and into parts of Bradford County of Pennsylvania. So just be aware as you're heading out the door, tapering off by the mid to late morning hours as that sun does help burn it off. And we're seeing nothing but clear skies going into this morning. That's going to be the theme for today. Easy sunshine, but also some humid conditions as we go throughout the day. Hey, your temperatures though, starting off in the mid to upper 50s, low 60s to start off your day. It's not going to last forever though, because we're back to the mid upper 80s and some of us the low 90s by the end of the day. Combined with the humidity, well, it feels like temperatures looking to be in those low to mid 90s. So for those of you heading to football camp, even planning anything outdoors or working outdoors today, make sure you're taking the time to cool down, drink plenty of fluids to avoid any heat illnesses. We should see some cooler conditions heading our way as a frontal system moves through on Wednesday. And that's why the Storm Prediction Center does have us in the severe weather outlook for tomorrow. But you notice that severe weather did scrunch down to the south a bit. Now that slight risk mainly over the northern tier of Pennsylvania for the southern tier New York. We're looking at a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow as a few of these storms could contain gusty winds and even the possibility of some heavy rain. Now, why did the severe threat push a little bit more to the south? Well, that's due to the positioning of the front we're tracking. Let's start off at lunchtime on Tuesday. Here's our system. There's our cold front that goes along with it. We're seeing this approach our area by Tuesday night. Might see an isolated shower or rumble of thunder possible, but most are looking pretty dry Wednesday, Tuesday night to Wednesday morning. Okay, well, here's that front, and you can see now it pushed through the southern tier of New York, but the northern tier of Pennsylvania still has yet to see that cold front. Now, we are going to see that cold front working its way through into the afternoon and evening hours across Pennsylvania as it's there. We're seeing that threat for some strong, too severe thunderstorms, mainly over Pennsylvania, but most should be weather aware looking ahead to your Wednesday. You can keep with your first warning weather team. We're going to keep you updated both on air and online. After that, we take a dip through the 70s to end out the week with variable cloud cover. We can't rule out though some passing showers, but most should be on the dry side. Next best chance for showers will be going into Saturday with a high of 79. We're up to 82 on Sunday with lots of sunshine in the forecast. And finally, for your Labor Day, we're looking at the chance for showers, partly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid 70s. 